Hey, what's up guys? We got a new project coming out today. It is five volt USB power. We're calling it USB power because that's what it is. And it runs off a mini USB cable. Uh, converts that five volt into negative and positive 12 and is in a really, really small form factor. We put it this way uh, with a um, with, with a 16 pin plug on the back because it can connect right into our bus cheek system very easily. Let me show you there, line up the stripe. And in fact, it, with the kit, it comes with a keyed connector so it's even easier. You can plug it right into the, uh, oh, the keyed section and um, lights up your, uh, your cheek there and powers your bus. Of course, if you have a leftover piece of a bus board or a flying bus cable that you can get from us as well, you can um, just kind of power that as well and have a nice long strip for a number of modules. Um, this is not intended for powering a large system, as you would probably guess. Um, the, the, the two uh, configurations we have here with the converters are, one of them will do up to 125 milliamps on the positive and negative 12 rails, and the other one will do up to 250 milliamps on both those rails. Um, what we've discovered is that it can pull that, and then if you get a little more than that, it'll start drooping your five volt rail down. So I wouldn't really recommend it if you wanna draw a lot of five volt um, power coming into your modules. Not a lot of modules need that much anymore. Another great thing about USB power here is that you can plug it into something like a power bank like this and actually put this battery in your uh, backpack or whatever and, and power your modular system on the road, on the train, wherever you're going, out in the woods. Um, you could obviously duct tape this or Velcro it into your case and always have power on the go. Or, you know, you can uh, take it with you and use it for charging your phone as well. I don't know, but what I do know is it's a great option for powering your USB power. Yet another way of powering your USB power is to use a wall dongle, wall wart charger adapter deal. I got this one, um, uh, Fast Gear. I got it off Amazon, it wasn't that much money. And it tells me it can put it at about three amps. So on that, you know, you can kind of run the 12 and negative rails on the larger converter we have at 250 milliamps on the plus and negative 12, and that should be able to power it just fine. Um, and even have some room left over for your five volt rail if you really want that. Um, so, you know, we're using this power system in our small systems that we just came out with. And we're using, again, our cheeks um, here and plugging that in. Let me tell you the pricing on this thing. It's actually going to be pretty reasonable. Um, you can get just the PCB for six bucks. Uh, kits are going to be 35 and a complete unit that we build started at 50. Um, so it's a pretty cheap way to get your power here. The converters are the most expensive thing. And one thing I want to explain to you about power, there's a lot of misnomers in power uh, land out there in Eurorack or modular in general. A lot of people think they know what they're talking about. Some of them do. Um, some of them talk about branding and this brand of power. Most of us as Eurorack manufacturers use pretty much ready-made DC to DC voltage converters. And so if you don't like a certain power or you love a certain power, it's usually going to be Recom, Murata, Syncon, um, some people mean well. All these brands are basically what the power is. I have heard that there are some people making their own switching converters, but that's still a rumor. I don't know. But what I do know is that most people are using these kinds of, of products, which are uh, great highest technology, and we get them on places like Mauser and such. And those are usually what cost the most in these products because we leave it to the professionals. And in this case, we have as well. We've, we, we're have we using a Syncon and a Recom uh, power supply to do the conversions. Um, they don't really get hot even at what we're drawing. Um, great system. And one more word, one word of warning. We have powered these with laptops, however, be very careful when you do. I would not recommend our Recom to be powered by a laptop or a desktop because USB 1 and 2 is rated for 500 milliamp total draw and 3.0 is for 900 milliamps total draw. And these sometimes can exceed that. We don't want you damaging your computer. Um, if you're, if you're going to power a few modules, we have had success. And we've got some notes in our manual that tell you what we've found out. But I've discovered that the, using the Syncon here, I can load it fully down and my, uh, my iMac powers it just fine on both the 2009 version and a 2013 version. So uh, it's been working good. We don't want you to destroy your very expensive gear. 
by overloading it. Uh, check your manuals, etc. Don't be stupid and have a wonderful day.